Hey everyone, my name is Matt Fezco from Lunges and Leggings. I'm making a video for Blockhead to help with some pain and discomfort that we may face when we're working from home in isolation. So we're gonna work a little bit to the shoulders, the arms. So I know a lot of us round the spine as we sit, right? So we're gonna work kind of opening and extension. So simply, I'd like you to just bring your arms up to the sides and make little circles. This can be like PE class if you remember this. Good, we're getting a little bit just stronger here in the deltoids, the back. And then switching the other way. Good, just warming them up. Good, switching the other way, like make them bigger, getting now full range for their shoulders, moving forward and back. And then maybe the thumb is starting to turn as you move. Nice, and then swapping, switching directions. And you can see here, just in normal clothes, working during the day like everybody else and taking a little break. Good, then coming back to center, taking the shoulders, arms, shake, beautiful. And now we'll move through a range to help with mobility. So bring your hands, palms together into each other, draw the shoulder blades back, don't touch the back, keep them up the bottom. And as you unravel, keeping the arms up, open it up, bring your hands behind your head, don't touch your head. Good, inhale here, draw your hands back, palms face down, hinging through that elbow joint, and draw your hands back behind you. Good, we're gonna move through this a few times, and I'll swap directions so you can kind of see. And you should feel a little bit tired. This should be doing some work. Be a bit intense. But this is really good work for the rotator cuff, for the back, everything that we do, holding that mouse, moving our hands and we don't even notice. All that stress, good. Just one more after this. And give it a little shake, a little release. Good, you've worked those, you've got a little bit of mobility and that should help ease some of the tension through the back. 